Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be getting ready using some new makeup. A lot of these pieces are from my last luxury beauty haul. As I complete this look, I'm also going to be sharing my first impressions and my thoughts and reviews of each product. If you're new, welcome, I'm so happy to have you. This is our pink, sparkly, positivity-filled bubble on YouTube where we talk about our love of luxury, beauty, fragrance, and so much more. So if that sounds like something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another thing. And let's go ahead and get started. There's something so satisfying and so exciting about doing your makeup for the very first time with new products. A lot of these pieces I've played around with in store on clients, and I've even created a couple different looks with them, but I haven't played with them all together. So today is going to be a lot of fun. I've already done my skincare and I primed my eyelids with just a little bit of the Chanel concealer. And I am going to begin with eyes. I'm using the two new products I picked up from Tom Ford. So here I have the Body Heat Palette, perfect for fall. And I also have the little cream eyeshadow in the shade Platinum, which is again, beautiful for fall. This could be worn alone as an everyday eye color, but I'm going to combine the two to create a soft smoky eye. First, I'm taking a flat shader brush. This is actually an old concealer brush from Chanel, but it does the trick perfectly. Any flat synthetic brush will do. I almost exclusively use this for eyeshadow, actually. I don't think I've ever used it for concealer. And I picked up a little bit of this Platinum Cream Eyeshadow which is going to go all over the lid as a base. Not only is this a beautiful color that you could use by itself, but it's perfect for layering as well. So I'm just going to evenly distribute that quickly and then blend it out. Next, I'm picking up the Body Heat Eyeshadow Quad and I'm using this traditional eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take this top pearlescent shade in the corner and I'm going to pat that on the inner lid. This by itself is beautiful, but when you pack it on top of the cream eyeshadow, it makes it a little bit more dramatic and gives the shadow more of a pop. And these are the eyeshadows that can be used wet or dry. You can tell because they have the little TF embossed. Next step is really easy. I'm just going to flip the brush over and I'm picking up this sort of red warm brown shade in the other corner. And I'm going to pack that on the outer lid. I've done this look several times and I've worn it to work, but I didn't use the cream eyeshadow as a base. So this time I'm getting a lot more pigment out of these eyeshadows. Picking up a fluffy brush, I'm going to softly blend out the crease. For extra depth, I'm going back into that warm reddish brown eyeshadow and I'm packing a little bit more right in the outer V area. For now, I'm moving on to the face and I don't have a new foundation to try. So today I'm going to be using my Guerlain L'Essential foundation and I will be blending that all over using the Face 3 brush from Marc Jacobs, my hands down favorite foundation brush. And I use the shade 03N. I still have to be careful around my eyebrows. It's been nearly two weeks since I had them microbladed, but I have two more days until I can fill them in anymore if I choose to do so. But so far, I'm really happy with the shape. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Chanel concealer. 
slowly but surely this one is getting empty. And I always blend that out with a Sigma tapered kabuki brush. This has been my tried and true concealer brush for years. Now before I set my concealer with loose powder, I'm going to do a cream contour and highlight. So I'm picking up my brand new Tom Ford shade in Illuminate and I have Intensity One. For as many times as I've used this in store on clients, I was thinking back and I don't remember a single time I've ever used it on myself, which seems sort of strange. I really love cream bronzer, cream contour type products and I just picked this up maybe a couple weeks ago now, so it is still very new. I recently attended a brand training with Tom Ford where they taught the specific technique to apply this product to the face. I always think it's very interesting to go to those types of trainings where you can hear from the brand, listen to how the product was designed to be used. When it comes to products like this, I think you just have to play around with it a couple times and see what feels right, feels natural, and looks best on your face with your skin. But I am going to attempt to show you kind of what they taught us and what I learned. I don't have the correct brush. There is a Tom Ford flat brush. It, I believe it's called the Shade and Illuminate brush, so that's what you're supposed to use. But this is sort of the Chanel dupe, I guess. It's kind of a flat brush like this. So I'm gonna go in with the contour first pick up a little product right here in this little divot place the brush and then you drop it down go directly underneath the cheekbone kind of straight across so the purpose is to not go too high or too low kind of start in the little divot angle down and then you just drag it along. You can almost feel the indentation right below the, the jawbone. And then just drag forward like so. Place the brush, angle down, or at least at like a diagonal, and then follow right below the bone out. This one came forward a little bit more, but Either way, it doesn't matter because now you just have to blend it <laughs> regardless. And then I'm also going to take a little bit more on the temples. In theory, you should be able to blend out the product using the same brush you use to apply it. But since I don't have the real shade and illuminate brush and this is giving me trouble, probably because it's rounded, whereas the Tom Ford is flat, I'm going to use my Sigma flat angled kabuki brush and blend this out. I really like how the shade in Illuminate turned out. I think because the Intensity One contour shade has some warmth to it, it does a really beautiful job mimicking bronzer. And it blended out really nicely. I mean, no complaints, no harsh lines. I didn't really have any issues whatsoever. I don't think it's quite as easy as the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer, only because that one seems to be a little bit more of a gel cream. It's a little bit more sheer, whereas this one has a little bit more of a thick sort of tacky texture, but both go on really beautifully. So I'm very excited about this. Now, before I go in with the cream highlight shade, I'm going to set my concealer. And today I am going to be using this new Givenchy translucent powder. This is their color correcting translucent powder. So I know I showed this off in the haul, but it's really beautiful. It has this kind of blue, lavender, green, and very pale white shade. They're doing a construction project upstairs. <laughs> so if you hear drilling as background noise, that's what's going on there. This Givenchy powder was sent to me complimentary to review from Givenchy. They were so generous to send it over. And this is part of their limited edition couture packaging. What's neat about it is that you can save this top and use it for any other future Givenchy powder. So you don't have to lose out on the pretty packaging. You can keep using it. I'm actually not even gonna use the puff. I'm just gonna shake a little bit in. Oh God, whoops. Okay, so I shook way too much. 
So that's what it looks like when it's all mixed together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so lesson learned, don't shake too much. It honestly does a really beautiful job. It goes on just like my other Givenchy loose powder, the translucent. It just sort of melts into the skin. You can't really see it once it's on. Kind of gives that soft airbrushed effect, which is really pretty. For blush, I have this brand new Kevin O'Quan Neo blush to try out. This was sent to me complimentary to review from Kevin O'Quan, so that was very generous of them. And I chose the shade Rose Cliff. I thought this would be really pretty for transitioning from summer to fall into winter months. You can see when I open it up, you have a lighter peach tone right here, but then it goes all the way through the rosy pinks to a deep plum color. So this is so pretty. You can sort of customize your blush depending on what look you're going for. For the sake of experimenting, I'm just going to brush all the way through because I'm very curious to see what it looks like all mixed together. Ooh. Very pretty. That blush is so beautiful. It came out a lot more pink than I expected. I suppose because the majority of the blush is pink and plum and I only picked up a little bit of this peach color. I don't know why I thought it would somehow end up to be more like this, but it ended up looking more like that, which is fine. I think it's so pretty. I love a blush like this because you truly can customize it depending on your eye look or your outfit. And the color payoff is brilliant. It is such a beautiful shade. To illuminate our complexion, I'm going back in once again to the shade and illuminate, and I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm picking up the top highlight shade, which gives more of a glass skin, really glossy luminosity to it. And you can see it almost has this pearlescent tone to it, so it looks a little bit whitish on the skin. You have to be careful to really blend it. I'm just gonna tap that on the tops of my cheeks. So pretty. As long as you're light enough, it's not gonna break up any powder or creams underneath it either. In Florida, we call this the walked outside look because the moment you walk outside, you're dripping in sweat. The face is complete, so now it's time to go back and finish the eyes. So I have a little precision brush and I'm picking up this warm reddish brown shade up here and I'm going to run this underneath the lower lash line. With a pencil brush, I'm just going to smoke that out and make it nice and soft. I wanna highlight the inner tear duct area, so I'm picking up the little sponge that comes with the palette. This one is very odd, it's tapered, which works perfectly in our favor, but it's just not something that you traditionally find with your eyeshadow palettes. And I'm going to go back into this pearlescent shade and I'm going to pop that right in the inner corner. For liquid eyeliner, I'm using the Eye Defining Pen from Tom Ford and I'm going to go in with my Legendary Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. Since there's nothing I can put on my eyebrows just yet, I just took a spoolie and fluffed them and brushed them up. And next is lips, and I'm going to use my Givenchy lipstick. This is the La Rouge 304 Mandarin Bolero. This also has the very cute limited edition couture packaging that you can hold on to. It's not really a fall color. I suppose it's a nice transition between summer and fall shade. And since I'm in Miami, it works. Ooh, that is bright. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. I 
It's a very bright coral color. It's very pretty. It's probably not something that I would have picked out for myself. This was sent to me complimentary to review along with the powder and I love all of my Givenchy lipsticks. They're so comfortable, very long wearing, even the bullet lipsticks. And I'm gonna top that off with my Chantecaille lip gloss in the shade Blythe. I get a lot of questions about why I love Chantecaille lip glosses so much. I just do, they are so thin and glossy and they just look so pretty. Beautiful. I love a glossy lip, so pretty. I always like to balance out my cheeks, so I'm not picking up any additional product, but I'm just going back with my blush brush. And any excess that's left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it on. And that completes today's look, so thank you so much for getting ready with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, I will be linking all of the products that I use today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.